Welcome back to my channel guys. I am so excited to bring you this video. I've been planning this video for like three years and I've just never got around to making it. But finally, I'm getting my butt into action and it's happening today. One of my most popular questions I get asked is how many cheat days do I have or how do I not eat junk food? And honestly, I don't really have cheat days or cheat meals because I love eating healthy foods and it's all about knowing what healthy foods to eat. I can honestly tell you I never feel like I'm missing out and I feel like my healthy alternatives are actually more enjoyable than the junk food options. I'm going to show you heaps of healthy snacks that you can use as alternatives to the mainstream bad junk food that people normally binge on. It just so happened to happen that all of the snacks that I've chosen are vegan and they're obviously gluten free because I am gluten intolerant. And if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I get lots of my health food stuff from my local health food store. But to help you guys out and to make sure that everyone has access to these products, I actually purchased everything from this video on iHerb.com. So iHerb.com is basically just like an online sort of health store. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Before I started caring about my health, I was a junk food fanatic and a snack fiend. I would come home from school and snack all day until dinner time. So I feel like I'm a good person to make this video because I can relate. Like, I love chips, I love chocolate, I love lollies. And I honestly spent hours searching for these products, so they are all prime. You will not regret it. We are going to start with my second favorite snack of this whole video, which are these Dang chips. The brand is Dang, and they're basically just toasted coconut chips, and the flavor is caramel sea salt. Before I even go into the taste, the ingredients are just coconut, coconut sugar, and sea salt. How good is that? This snack is perfect for someone who loves caramel, peanut brittle, butterscotch, or even butter menthols. They just look like this. So they're just like these little crispy bits of coconut and they actually taste like salted caramel. Oh my God, like they're so buttery and creamy and sweet. Oh, they really remind me of peanut brittle or just like shards of toffee. Toffee, that's what it's like like caramel toffee. So you can have them plain, you can just have them as a snack, or you can put them on top of some yogurt or on top of an acai bowl. Amazing. My next snack is for a person who loves cookies. If you just love like plain vanilla buttermilk cookies, these are for you. The brand is Go Raw and they are pumpkin seed little raw sprouts. So these are raw vegan. So they're these little raw square chippies. They're not super sweet, not super sweet. But again, so buttery and creamy. And they really remind me of cookies, like just plain vanilla cookies. Super healthy, full of good fats. Actually a really, really good snack to have in your lunchbox. So that is for my cookie lovers. If you really know me and my snacking addiction, you'll know that I'm obsessed with fruit and nut. So this next snack is very simple. It's a fruit and nut mix, but it is the best fruit and nut mix because it has no added refined sugar. So lots of things, even if they're like organic, Pretty much all fruit and nut mix have sugar added to it from the dried fruit. So the way that they dry fruit, they add sugar into it. But this one has no refined sugar added to it and it's a bit of a mix, like it's a bit different. So it's Nut Fusion Maple Balsamic Nut Mix. It's a whole bunch of really cool things, like it's got cherries, cranberries, maple syrup, cashews, figs. Oh! And by the way, this was such a dangerous video for me to make because I have like a little bit of everything left because I've eaten it all. I'm trying to show you what it looks like, but basically it's just like little chunks of all different stuff meshed together. Oh, oh, mm, so good. I'm not really a balsamic person, but in this mix, it is bomb. So you can just have that in your cupboard, again, sprinkle it on stuff. If you want to be good, unlike says, put it in Ziploc bags and take it to school with you. Don't take the whole bag because you'll eat the whole thing like I just did. This is a cool one because I haven't seen it before. They are called Snip Chips and it's the flavor Chipotle Lime Cilantro. So basically they're just chips made out of parsnips, coconut, raw seeds, blah, blah, blah. Again, raw vegan, loving it. And these are really good alternatives if you just like plain crackers. And they're not plain, they've obviously got like a mild spice to it because it is um, Chipotle Lime cilantro but these really remind me of those soy crisps as well I'll see if I can put a photo here but I think they're called soy crisps and they're like in those trail mixes they really really remind me of that this is what they look like they're just in like these sort of chunky coconut bits I and mean, they're just really enjoyable like totally have them by themselves but I think dipped in tzatziki mm. dipped in tzatziki or some hummus oh my gosh this was such a dangerous video for me to make 
Next is one of my favorite things. I picked it thinking I'd be a bit bored and I was like, Ugh, I'll just put it in the video. But I think it's legit my top three. It's naturally bare apple and cinnamon crisps. The ingredients are just apple and cinnamon. But wait, wait for this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm. That crunch. That crunch. But if you're a person who loves crunch, like if you love to do assignments and sit there with a bag of chips, get on these if you like it sweet as well. So they're really, really sweet, really tartish. If you love apple juice, you'll love these. I actually hate apple juice, but I love these, so it doesn't really make sense. But I feel like it tastes like apple juice with cinnamon. And like, they're so crunchy. I could not believe how crunchy they are. Mm. Okay, I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna show you my favorite product of the whole video. And I didn't even know what this was. I just found it on iHerb and I was like, yeah, it looks cool. I like the ingredients. I buy everything based on the ingredients. And when I tried it, I was like, what is life? Before I show you, this is for the person who loves lollies. I don't know if this is just Australian, but if you love these pineapple lollies, you will love these. And I hate the pineapple lollies, but they remind me of it in a good way. If you love gummy lollies, like the party mix, you need to get on this. It's by the Sasha Co and it's called Pineapple and Cacao Nibs. Again, gluten-free, vegan, la la la. It is a mix of the coolest ingredients. I'm not gonna read them all out, but it's buckwheat, sultana, hickory root, pineapple. Yeah, I love fruit and nut, we know this. And I love granola, but this is just on another level. So it comes in big chunks like that. So everything is sort of glued together with this sticky pineapple, coconut agave, mix oh my gosh whoever designed this you're a genius this is what i don't get why would i eat lollies and feel sick and do nothing for my body when i could eat this and it tastes better it's full of healthy fats good carbs and easy to digest mm. probably the best vegan snack or healthy snack i've ever purchased my next snack is more savory if you love dairy but you can't absorb dairy or you love cheese and you can't eat cheese this is a little snack on the go that you can take. It's by Sunbiotics and they're called Cheesy Almonds. So that's the packaging and it's pretty much just organic sprouted almonds and nutritional yeast, sea salt and probiotics. So the nutritional yeast is the thing that makes it taste cheesy. It's got like this yellow coating on it and it just tastes like it's been dipped in like a cheese powder. I do have more of a sweet tooth when it comes to snacks or I want it to be like chips. But if you love dairy, and you love nuts and you don't want like a fruit and nut mix, this is a really, really good alternative. And I just thought it was cool and different. Now, again, I don't know if this is Australian, but if you love these, those strawberries and cream lollies, you will love these. And you might be like, ugh, that's boring, but I swear they're really good. It's just freeze dried strawberries. Now, these are supposed to be crunchy. They were crunchy when I got them, but I accidentally left the bag open. So now they're not crunchy. That is what they look like, just freeze dried strawberries. And the ingredients are just strawberries, which is great. And they're really, really sweet. So if you love strawberry flavored stuff, get amongst these. Like if you are a person who loves Twizzlers, like raspberry licorice, any strawberry lollies, strawberry drinks, get these. Check what it says up the top. Keep it crunchy, reseal. Oops. And my last healthy snack of the entire video is something that I find leads me astray and derails my progress and that is anything Mexican. So I found these and it's the all natural tortilla chip jalapeno flavor. I love nachos. I love anything Mexican, but Doritos are really, really not good for you. Especially if you get like the supreme cheesy flavor, they are full of additives. Just read the packet and tell me if you know what all those numbers stand for or if you know what those huge scientific words are. If you don't know what a word is, don't put it in your body. They just look like a normal Dorito and they taste like a normal Dorito which is the best part because if you're finding a healthy alternative, you want it to taste as close to it as possible or better. If you don't like spice, don't worry. I'm sure you'll still like these. It is a really, really mild jalapeno flavor. Corn, sunflower oil, safflower oil, jalapeno peppers, beet powder to get the color and vinegar, salt, crushed red peppers. So crunchy. Mm, mm, mm. I would eat them by themselves because that's what I do. I'm a cereal snacker. 
but I would also make like a Mexican dish with it and like dip it in some taco mints and stuff like that. So like I mentioned, all of these products I got from iHope.com that you can get pretty much all over the world, I think. Um, if you use this discount code here, this is my discount code, you get $5 off your first order. If you're in the US, you get free shipping if you spend over $20, so that's good. And they also have a customer loyalty program, which gives you 10% off, so check out that. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. If you want more sit down chat with me videos like this, I'm more than happy to make them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week and give it a like because it really supports my channel and lets me know what you guys are enjoying watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm. So good.